And now Christopher here to pick me up and take me to the next spot. What's going on, man? What's up, YouTube? Today, I'm gonna tell y'all about my recent trip to Ghana. I didn't know anybody in Ghana. However, I heard so many positive things about Ghana. Some dude walked up to me right away and offered to take my bag. And that ended up being my tour guide for the rest of the trip. As I told you, I didn't know anybody in Ghana. Also, I did not have a main agenda for the Ghana trip. However, it ended up turning out very well. Part two is my trip to Kenya, where I visit my brother and the rest of my family that stays in Kenya. Now, take a look at this footage right here. I wanted to show you all this first place that I stayed at. Just so y'all could take a look. I know a lot of us are very interested in the continent, at least just a visit. Got the closet right there, a little desk, the bathroom with the shower, toilet. It's really, it's chill, it's cozy. Before I leave, I just wanted to show y'all the rooftop area. It's pretty chill, I came out here the other day and got some food and some drinks from over there. Yeah. I didn't really have an agenda when I got to Ghana. I just knew that I wanted to explore the city of Accra. And I wanted to explore the, the country. I knew I was only gonna be there for a week. My tour guide ended up suggesting I go to the Cape Coast Castle. I really didn't want to go to that castle because I'm really over the whole slave narrative. We're here at oh. Cape Coast Castle. Ice 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 I did not want to come here, but I got convinced. So we're here to check it out. Now, I'm not too much of a fan of the transatlantic slave trade story, but I want to let y'all know I, what I've done with my scholarly research, and I'm a scholar and a gentleman, is that slave is a bloodline, slab. That's the origin of the word, S-L-A-V. You can check this up in the etymological dictionary yourself. I don't look like the complexion of a Slavic slab. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look right here. Now, I'm not denying a transatlantic trade, but I'm not too sure that millions and millions of people made it across that journey on ships with the technology that they had. Some people could have made that journey and survived. Me being American, I have some ancestors that have had made that journey. The transatlantic trade is one thing, but you know, I think that my ancestors got here on their own because well, I subscribe to the Moorish history. The Moors was already traveling across the seas before Christopher Columbus was even conceived. They don't want, the Moors is who taught the Europeans how to bathe and we all know the story. And if you don't, then you got some research to do. I don't deny that some people were brought through the trade and they could have intermingled moving along. If we go inside, I might feel some type of way in there. Oh, no. Yeah, like just looking at that right there going down yeah. and it's called a dungeon. I, I'm, I might feel some type of way in there. So we're going to see. Ultimately, 
I'm glad that I actually took the time to go visit that castle, although I was reluctant to do it. I was really just a tourist in Ghana. I wanted to see what was around. I believe this is like this for most of, of us. We don't really know what the inside scoop is. Now, what I mean by that is like, if I was to stay in that country, what would it look like? We don't really have that besides that, that media picture that, that everybody knows about. But anyways, on this trip, I wanted to kind of get that view. So I was looking at the architecture, looking at certain buildings like this one right here. And I took photos of stuff like that because now that I was on the ground, I found places that, you know what? I like the architecture of that building and I could actually see myself staying in that building. And the taxi driver's here. And now Christopher here to pick me up and take me to the next spot. What's going on, man? So I had a good stay here. This is what it's like right here on this first hotel that I stayed at. And then y'all see the second spot. He took me there in the morning, I dropped my stuff off, and then that's when we rode immediately to Safari Valley. I think I heard that yes, before. Like that thing, that thing. And that looks like and we have some sable antelopes here. The antelope, okay. These ones are native to East and South Africa. Bedroom cabin. Yes, yes. Nice and cool in here. this pool. Nice and cool in here. Yeah, I like this one better. Connects. 
I like it. The concept is. So she was showing me around and I got a chance to enjoy the amenities for some time. And that was good because I just got to chill. I got to actually work out a little bit too. There was a gym there, there was a pool, although I didn't get in the pool. The thing that I liked so much, there was no chance of anybody fucking it up. A Karen wasn't gonna run out of nowhere and start some drama with anybody. And that was the peace of mind that I had. And I wanna let y'all know about that. That's a peace you cannot find, all right? And the funny thing, somebody hit me up on Instagram and I was like, you know Tim's is there? You trying to get at Tim's? <laughs> and then actually that's the name of a place too. That's over there. But Tim's is also in Ghana at the time, ironically. I know, right? But um, the people was easy going. Also, I noticed like in West Africa, specifically Ghana, they got some style. Like the threads that some of these people was wearing, traditional African threads, it just, the style was out of this world. It's just immaculate. And this girl that was, um, she was with her man, at the at Safari Valley, she had this outfit on, out of this world, immaculate. It was a traditional West African type of dress and like the arm flared out. Y'all probably seen it before. I haven't really saw the one she had on and I have saw that type of style before, like a photo, but hers was different and it was just immaculate. Check out Safari Valley if you visit Ghana, you'll have fun. And no, I didn't get paid to suggest it. Although, you know what I'm saying, I would be against I'm seeing, seeing me a little check. Support Valley, you ain't talking about let me get a, a, a staycation? Nah. <laughs> My tour guide, he basically was like, what you want to do, you know? I, I was like, I want to check out the mall because I saw the mall on some YouTube videos and I just wanted to see that. I went to the mall and it was sure enough, a regular mall. Um, I think I wanted to buy some stuff and then Christopher, he was like, you know what? I know another place you could go. And it was like shops along the road and stuff. And sure enough, it was stuff I could buy that was better than the mall. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Also, don't forget about part two. It's a link in the description when I visit Kenya. All right, so after the Cape Coast Castle trip, we drove like three hours back to get to Accra, the city. My driver stopped and yeah, he picked up some plantains from on the side from somebody who was selling them, some woman. And these plantains was the truth. Like they was so good and it just like activated my DNA somehow and I was just glad and, I, and it was warm too. I never had any fresh plantains like that. All right, and now if you go over there, you better get you some cause you're gonna, you're gonna thank me later. Um, as I left Ghana, I'm about to leave Ghana now and head to Kenya. Shout out to Christopher for being my certified tour guide. 
looking out for me this whole trip and recommending certain spots for me to go to. And now he dropping me back off at the airport. I'm already here. And yeah, if y'all visit Ghana and y'all see Christopher, he walk up to you, hey, he's a good tour guide, so. At the airport, I didn't have my COVID test that I was supposed to have before leaving. It was really difficult for me to get through security, kind of. They, they, they took me on a little a questioning session. Some woman, she, she, she looked out for me though. She was like, give me $50 basically. And you know what I'm saying? I could, I, could, I could get you the documents you need for the COVID. And I really like that because if I was coming over here somewhere, nobody would have did that for me like that. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. Because otherwise I would have had to just go back to back home to the U.S. and I would have been mad at Ghana. You know what I'm saying? I would have been mad at Ghana for not letting me get to Kenya. So everything worked out for me, man. And I got to, to Kenya. I got on Kenya Airlines. And look, when I got on Kenya Airlines, I got on the airplane. We took off, right? I got the meal. It was a good little meal with some curry chicken with some rice. But I see why my dad did not come back to America when he flew to Kenya. I'm, I don't know if he took Kenyan Airways to get to Kenya, but I think you might have to take Kenyan Airways to get to Kenya. Also, just the way the staff interacted with me, I knew. Safe flight to Kenya, landed. And if you want to see the rest of my trip for Kenya, African Ancestry results. I got a link to that video in the description. And I just want to let y'all know, I did not know the results until I got back home from my trip to Africa. I went just with an open mind and I wasn't influenced by, you know, thinking that or knowing that, okay, my DNA is from this area and that area. So my cousin Victor had suggested I link up with Derek. Yep. And he just linked up with me before I'm about to catch this flight. And I just want to say it's been cool, man. Yeah. What, what was that spot you were talking about that you suggest? Yeah, we have a lot of, you know, interesting attractions over here in Ghana. We have the Asenya uh, Masu Slave River where uh, the African folks in the diaspora can come and link up with their ancestry. So, guys, thanks so much, Ashad, for coming to Ghana. And then spread the news. Ghana is a cool place to visit. Spread the good news. Should they email you or what? Yeah, you can email me on uh, spartcon7 at gmail.com. Okay, man, y'all heard it from? The YouTube, channel is, the YouTube channel is Spartcon Travel Vlog. So guys, subscribe, check it out. I have a lot of interesting videos out there. Yeah, man, and for those of you who wanted me to do a wave check, man, I'm sorry, I, I, I didn't have enough time to do it, man. But maybe if I come back to Ghana, I'll do a wave check. All right, y'all? So uh, yeah, and everybody so else that's coming to, to be a tourist, Check out G G Ghana. Just link up with, you know, Ashad and then he's gonna yeah. give you. His email is gonna be right here. So email. Exactly.